what are some of the diagnostic tests that you have to find out if somebody's in stage one, stage two, or stage three? Yeah, the, the stages are all, to be honest with you, related to clinical symptoms. So it's first we get the history like everything else in medicine. But the, the first thing a lot of times people do is, is get an EKG. Now the electrical system of the heart doesn't necessarily tell me if the heart function is weak or not, but it will sometimes tell me if you've had old heart attacks, it'll tell me if you have certain rhythm disturbances associated with heart failure. Second test will be an ultrasound of the heart where we'll most of the time do it from the chest wall. We put some jelly on your chest and take it from two different spots. And then um, at that point, uh, based on what's called an ejection fraction, we'll take a look and decide whether or not it's heart failure. System. Ejection fraction means what? What that means is the amount of blood your heart's supposed to squeeze out on every beat. Normal is anything over about half. So 50% or greater is considered a normal ejection fraction. So that would be pretty good. If it's That's less normal. than that, you're thinking about but, something wrong with the heart muscle, perhaps. Correct, yes. Or with the coronary artery. So mm -hmm. what are the next test? So you've got... Next test, if we make a diagnosis of systolic heart failure, meaning the heart can't beat. Systole is the term we use for contraction. So if the heart's not beating well, um, depending on the severity of it, if that number's in the 20% range, a lot of times we'll skip the stress testing and go straight to heart cath because we need to really, a, a stress test doesn't tell you that, that they don't have severe blockages sometimes. When, when you look at a heart cath and the heart muscle is not working as good, what do you see on the cath? Do you see the blood supply, the sprinkler system's not good? You see the muscle not pushing as strong? What do you see? Yeah, so we do two, two studies in a heart cath. One is we'll put a catheter, a, a tube in the ventricle. We'll squirt a lot of dye in there to look at how well it's squeezing. That gives us an idea of ejection fraction or if certain areas or segments of the walls aren't moving. When we look at the arteries, the sprinkler system, if the arteries are completely normal, then we, you're one of the 40, 50% that doesn't have a blockage, meaning stents aren't gonna improve your heart muscle. The other 50% that will, the answer is either we fix them with stents or we fix them with bypass surgery. Is there a blood test for heart failure? There's one called a BNP, which is a brain natriuretic peptide. What that does is it tells me that chambers in the, hearts are, the, chambers in the heart are stretched. Um, BNP can be elevated in a variety of reasons though. So just because it's elevated doesn't mean you have heart failure. It's one of the diagnoses that we so can consider. So it's a test that you get if it's abnormal, you think more about heart failure, yes. but it doesn't mean 